Hello, good morning, happy Tuesday. I told you I'd see you next Tuesday. And look, we're here again. Don't forget to drop me in that like down below. I do appreciate it very much. So drop me in those likes. They do help me out a lot. And the comments are really useful as well. So if you want to drop me in a quick comment and a hello, smiley face, bicep emoji, thumbs up or middle finger emoji, depending on how you're feeling today, I'd also appreciate that a lot. Um, right, so let's talk about cardio for weight loss stroke fat loss because it's one of those things that's talked about a lot and actually we were having the conversation at boot camp this morning with at our women only group fitness program with our members now we had 15 ladies there this morning uh on the 14th of december in the mud which was awesome uh, and just demonstrates the power of consistency and commitment uh which is really which is really good uh and we we're having the chat about running because obviously some of them are, 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 are training for the half marathon next year and, and and sort of sometimes what happens is we get this perception that we need to do certain exercises in order to lose weight so for example we think we need to run or we think we need to do cardio or whatever now traditionally what happens is when we go for like a gym induction or something like that we go through the you know 20 minutes on the cross trainer 20 minutes on the treadmill and 20 minutes on the bike now what you need to do here the way to think about this is to separate it into two separate things you've got to think about <laughs> is that doing any harm no is it effective? That's the question. And the answer there is it depends because ultimately your success is based on what you stick to. So if you go in January, let's talk, let's be honest now, it's two weeks until the end of the month, really. Most people now are going to be looking at January to starting anything. So if you go with the attitude of going for a January start and then you smash it to pieces in January and go, right, I'm going to do loads of cardio. The problem is if you're deconditioned, so you're not used to doing anything, it's going to be a lot harder to do you know, intense cardio than anything else. And secondly, it's boring. Now, I, I've trained for marathons. I do train for marathons. A lot of that involves distance running and distance cardio, distance running is boring. You know, anything over half an hour, 45 minutes, you're getting into boredom territory and it's very repetitive as well. So it's not that, you know, you won't burn extra calories doing cardio because you certainly will. If you do a 30 minute walk compared to a 30 minute weight training session, chances are you're gonna burn more calories walking. You just need the watch to do that and assess that based on your heart rate. And that's a fact. But it's the boredom factor of it all, yeah, which is the thing. And you can't out-train a bad diet. And trust me, I've tried to out-train a bad diet. I've, I've trained for marathons, like I said, and I've tried to out-train a bad diet. So the way to think about it is, are you going to stick to it? So whatever you do, will you stick to it? And the reason why we had 15 ladies at our session this morning in the middle of December in the mud is because our ladies stick to it. Because we, we, we create a program that has all the elements in there. So it's not just one thing. It's not just cardio. It's not just resistance training. It's not just hit. It's a mixture of everything. It's a mixture of toning, shaping, bit of hit, bit of cardio. And every single session is different because our job is to help people be consistent. Yes, to get amazing results, but also help you keep those results as well because there's no point because otherwise we just become like everybody else, which is people don't stick to it. So um, it, it, don't ask, the answer is don't, I wouldn't ask that question. I wouldn't say what's best for weight loss. I would say, what can you stick to that's gonna make you feel empowered so you can you know, build your confidence by getting better at something. Yeah, unless you get better at something, you're never gonna build your confidence with it, you're never gonna to stick to it. So if you are a woman over the age of 30, as always, and you wanna have a chat about our six week transformation starting in January, if you're feeling brave and you wanna start this year, we'll offer you the rest of December for free as well. All you need to do is comment below with six weeks or send us a direct message and we'll gladly have a chat with you. Don't forget to drop me a like before you go and a little comment, I do appreciate that. If you wanna share the video as well, that's much appreciated. And hopefully I will see you next Tuesday. Let's go.